She has no idea yet. Hi. Hey guys, what's up? We're back on the vlog today. And today is a special vlog because it'll be about how I asked Sam to marry me in Tokyo two years ago. Um, the funny thing was back in 2018, we were already in Japan uh, doing a collaboration with Cathay Pacific. And I told Victor, you know, it would have been a great idea if you had proposed back then because it was just like the perfect moment with friends and the Sakura. But little did I know, a year later, we went back to Japan and he actually proposed <laughs> and I had no idea that what was about to go down at that moment. So this vlog will be about what happened on March 29th of 2019 in Tokyo. All right, let's bring it back to the very beginning of how I even got the ring. I think it was with your friend, Laura. And I actually asked her, so what kind of ring does Sam even like? I have no idea what kind of ring. Or the four, the four C's, like what, clarity, color, carrot, carrot and uh, cut. Yeah, cut. Yeah. <laughs> so she wanted a an, an oval. I didn't right? want an Wait, oval. What, what did you want again? What's it called? What is this? The radiant. The radiant. And I had no idea what that was. Quick tip to all the guys out there <laughs> wanting to buy a ring for the girlfriend. Always ask her best friend pictures or references of what they actually want. Because for me, I had no idea. Yeah, so I had sent Laura some pictures from Instagram of what I wanted because in Hong Kong especially, a lot of the big name jewelry brands, they don't have a lot of Boring. options for ring styles and designs. And I knew I didn't want a brilliant cut, which is the circle one. I wanted something a little maybe more vintage and I opted for the radiant in the end. And so it's best if you can send photos yeah. and she sent photos to him. He gave you two options for diamonds, yeah, right? Yeah, Which there was one, one smaller one and one big one. So I went with the, the big one. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so I think my initial plan was to have it at a park, but then, you know, being Tokyo and Sakura season, it would be crowded, it would be busy. I know she doesn't really like crowds or people watching her, you know, so I wanted something more private that we can do in the hotel room. And why not bring Sakura into the hotel room? They were so kind enough to tell me that, yes, there actually is. We can bring some trees into your room and decorate it with Sakura. I'm like, whoa, that's pretty cool. I think before it actually happened, a few, a few weeks back, I went to a coffee shop with your friend Laura and we sat down and planned about timing. I wasn't sure between should I show the video first or get down on my knee first. The same week, I actually went to a coffee shop to work. I told her I was working, but I went, I went there to call your dad to get his permission and blessing. To see if I could ask to you to marry me. And he said, yeah, for sure. I'm really happy that you asked me. <laughs> and then I was at peace with it and I did it. That was sweet. Okay, so on the day of, when we're in Japan, <laughs> basically I'm usually the planner when we do our trips. Yep. So in the morning, I wanted to go to the Chiyoda River to do the iconic row boating with their cherry blossoms. Mm -hmm. We had done it the year before and I wanted yep. to do it again because Laura hadn't gone. So I think our plan, we were going there at 11 a.m. Yeah because the team said that they need to prepare in the room for at least three, to, three to four hours. Bring I the think. cherry blossoms yeah. in, right? And you gotta cut trees, you gotta like saw stuff open. And then I was freaking out because that morning it was no lineup at all. And usually there's a big yeah. lineup because- Because I planned early. Yeah, people I wanted are to get there, there early. early too. So I'm like freaking out, crap, what am I gonna do? I, I need more time to stall. So I think after the boat ride, I was, I had my camera out and I was like, oh, look over there. Take a photo. Look over there. Take a I photo. I was like, what are you doing? It's, it's yeah. not, I, I mean, like, you were t the, you end up posting those pictures anyway. I think so. It was but, your 200mm. Yeah. And because I don't know if that year it was particularly cold. Yeah, and it we were was freezing cold. and we were dressed in, you know, we we're wearing we're like dresses. nice dresses. Yeah. It was the wrong season yeah. for wearing that type of dress. Yeah. And we're, me and Laura were just like shivering on the yeah. side after the river. Uh, tour. Yes, yeah, so I was texting the staff at the end of Tokyo. I'm like under my jacket. I'm like, are you guys ready yet? Are you ready yet? They're like, no, we need more time. So then I actually, I think I, I faked a stomach cake. So you had faked the day before. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm feeling a little weird. I need to go to the washroom. And the weird thing is, his stomach actually went glue glue yeah, actually the growled. day before. On the boat, you were also saying, I yeah, have a bit yeah, of stomach yeah. I'm like, do you have to go? I was feeling fine. Do you have to go to the bathroom <laughs> like right now? Because we're kind of stuck yeah. on the boat and we have 20 yeah. minutes. So on the way, we, we cab back to the hotel. I was like, oh, do you guys mind if I go up first and do my business? <laughs> and you guys wait downstairs in the lobby until I'm done, which is actually my time to prepare by myself, the flowers, and where I'm standing. 
And I think you, I called you when I was ready, and you're yeah, like, ready. "You ready yet?" And I'm like, oh, "I'm ready." And, I, yeah, yeah. and then you give me a little giggle. So I'm like, "Crap, does she know?" No, I was giggling because I'm like, "Oh, I hope it doesn't stink upstairs." <laughs> I had no problems with the washroom. It was smelling fine. <laughs> so we're going to the bathroom. And then you came into the room, and then it happened. reaction when you walked in the room i was like oh shoot this is happening but did you know it's gonna happen like right now or did you like were you like no. curious like, oh because on? actually i was in a rush to get up to the room because remember we we're supposed to have the afternoon tea oh, yeah. but and there then was no afternoon tea there was afternoon tea but after, it was more like a after, celebration yeah, thing yeah. but so when i walked into the room i was like what's going on because the first thing you see is a row of cherry blossoms little cherry blossom branches along yeah. the desk. Photos of us. And then, right. yes, and then on top of all the cherry blossoms, they had the, the Andaz team had printed out and like tied up little pictures of us mm -hmm. on the tree, like a Christmas yeah. decoration, but it springtime. It was of, like our first date, the day we yeah. met. Um, you also, gave them all the pictures? Yeah, I sent them all, a whole album of photos. And then yeah, I got the on me, and then I sent my thing, my speech and everything, and then she said yes. So then afterwards, uh, the end of Tokyo also arranged the actual afternoon tea that we're gonna <laughs> the have one. on the rooftop. Uh, but it was also really cold because it's semi-outdoor, but it was really nice. I think it was nice to toast with champagne. And then at nighttime, Laura oh, had arranged uh, to go to a small beef. steak bar yeah. that sold Matsusuka beef. And she was gonna go there with her husband. She's like, oh, but do you guys wanna come with us? I was like, yeah, sure, why not? We don't have to celebrate just the two of us, like whatever, I'll see him for the rest of my really life. <laughs> so that was like a really nice way to celebrate the our engagement. Evening. Yeah. And I was so happy the rest of the- It was the best the day week. of our life. Yeah, right? best day of my life. <laughs> it's been downhill since. So I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this video of how I plan to ask Santa to marry me. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Wedding part two. <laughs> <laughs>